you are going to change the way you create and design emails after this video. So I'm very happy and excited to share this first demo video of Mail Code. It's a tool I've been working over the last few months. Uh, I've been creating some AI tools, but this is the one that's uh, currently ready for the market. Uh, we are on the waitlist phase now. And if you like this tool and you want to try it out, just send me a DM and I'll share a private link with you that you can uh, test the tool for free. So uh, getting started here, uh, you can see that uh, we have a dark mode design. You also have a light mode here if you prefer. So very flexible and it's also responsive. So you can e either use on your desktop or on your, on your mobile phone. Uh, and what MailCode does, it basically creates an email design from scratch for you with the help of AI. So I'm just gonna quickly go through it, all the features, um, and then you can post in the comments below if you have any questions or if you wanna try it out. So here you can see that we have the dashboard. I just cleaned everything here in the account so you can see from scratch. Uh, so here on the dashboard, the first thing you wanna do is create your first brand but you can also see all the brands you have, all the campaigns you have created, uh, and this is how it works. So I'm just gonna quickly go through the platform and then go step by step what you need to do to create the emails. So this is the create email tab. Uh, of course, you're gonna be uh, prompted here to create a brand first because that's a, a requirement to create an email campaign. Uh, and here is the tab with the brands. You're gonna create our brands here. Here are the going to be the campaigns that you created, and here are the settings where you're gonna be able to manage your subscription. So let's get started, let's create a brand. I'm just gonna create a brand uh, called Mail Code, which is the name of the app. I'm just gonna grab the our color here on the side. So this is the basic info tab. This is where you're gonna insert your brand name, your brand color, and your brand logo. I'm just gonna select the brand logo here real quick. You can see here I selected a PNG file, but you can also insert an SVG file if that's what you want. And then the next thing you wanna do is go to the social media tab. Everything you inserted before is going to be saved. Don't worry about that. And what is going on here is uh, all the, the profiles you add here are going to be added in the footer of the email, which is very important if you wanna drive people to your social media after you send an email campaign. So I'm just gonna uh, add a few here so you can see. Uh, you, it's only the ones that you added are going to appear on your email. So I'm just gonna add a few here just as an example. But of course you're gonna add your own brand here. I'm just gonna add these three for now. And then I'm just gonna create the brand. Brand successfully created, and uh, now you're gonna be able to see it here. You can just refresh to make sure that everything is updated on the back end. Uh, you can add more brands if you want, you can delete, or you can edit the brand you already created. And now let's go to the fun part, which is creating the email. I'm just gonna go quickly here through the process. So you're just gonna create First, you're gonna create, uh, select the brand. Uh, you can have multiple bland, brands here. So you can, for example, if you have an agency and you have a lot of clients, you can add all of them here. You're gonna go and click next. And here uh, is how the, uh, where the magic happens. So you're just gonna enter uh, all the campaign details. In this case, I'm just gonna go to the waitlist page. Uh, for mail code where you're gonna be able to register to get into the waitlist. And I'm just gonna add that as the, the campaign website. And this is gonna generate uh, the URLs and the, the buttons for your campaign. Uh, here, I'm just gonna add uh, a quick draft about uh, mail code. You can add uh, as much content as you want here. You can either enhance with AI by leaving this one, this toggle on, or you can turn it off you, if you wanna use this uh, content exactly as it is written here. My suggestion is to just write uh, a draft 
with everything you want to achieve with that email, your goal, your target audience, uh, and the content. And that way your email is going to come out, uh, in a better format. And here it's going to be the, the CTA button. So make sure you use, uh, something that is very, uh, simple and clear to understand. In this case, it's going to be join the wait list. And here you're gonna add your email signature that goes uh, above the footer. So I'm just gonna add my name here. Uh, best regards, Gabriel from Mail Code. And here uh, I just wanna quickly go through this section, which is very important as well. Uh, you may not want to include a header image in your email, and that's fine. But if you choose to include one, you can either upload your email here, uh, you can either upload your header image here, or uh, you can leave this to your system. And what, what this means is if you don't upload any image here, we're gonna grab the image from your uh, website. Uh, that's the OG image, the preview image for social. Uh, but if you don't have that, we're also gonna be able to create an image with AI. So you can have a header image even if your website doesn't have an OG image. Uh, or if you don't have any image uh, on your computer or phone at the moment. And here uh, you're just gonna add your profile picture. Um, and this is gonna be the picture that's gonna show up uh, above your signature. Okay, everything's set. I created, I added the campaign website. I added the content that's gonna be on the body of the email. Um, I've added the CTA button. I've added my email signature and also the header image is going to be uh, scraped from my website and also my sender picture to make sure that it's personal. And now I'm just going to click on generate email and you're going to see uh, what's going to happen here. So uh, while the email is generating, I uh, just want to say I'm very happy to promote this app. It's the first demo I'm doing here. and. I'm very excited for you guys to try it out and let me know your thoughts, what can, what can improve here. I really want to build this to uh, taking in consideration uh, your knowledge, uh, everyone that works with email marketing on a daily basis. Uh, I'm very excited to uh, get you started and using the, the software. So as you can see here, uh, the email is generated. Uh, Basically, this header image you saw, I didn't upload anything and it's here. Uh, this is the content that was generated for the body. And here's the, the waitlist CTA. Um, the signature is just loading here for now. And then the, the footer icons are here. You can just see that uh, only the ones that I added are here. And you can click and go to, uh, to the social media of your company in this case. Uh, I'm just going to download the HTML so you can see it a little bit better. So here is the HTML email I just downloaded directly from the app. And as you can see, uh, it's all ready to go. I'm just going to inspect here so you can see that it's also responsive. So uh, no matter if your user is seeing it on desktop or on mobile, uh, it's going to be able to uh, be responsive on, for any type of screen. Uh, and then let's just continue here to uh, to the dashboard so that you can see the other file, the, the rest of the application. So basically you're gonna see the, that uh, we have one brand now that we created, we have one campaign uh, and we can either manage or view all campaigns here. And as you can see here, the campaign that we just created is here. We can filter by client uh, you can click here to view uh, the campaign you just created uh, and download the, the code again if you need to. Uh, so yeah, you have access to everything uh, as a history so you're not gonna lose any of the campaigns. You're gonna be able to see all the history uh, and you're gonna have 14 days of trial as soon as you get started with the app so you can try it out. Uh, let us know your thoughts, feedbacks, uh, and if you like it, and if you think that's going to bring value to your business and to your work, you can just continue to use it uh, and get the the upgrade to ensure you have access for it uh, at any time. 
So uh, this was just a quick demo for today. I hope you guys like this. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to try it out, if you have any, any suggestions or features you would like to see here. Uh, and I see you on the next video. Bye.